<laughs> get the leashes. Get the, what, was, what was my nickname again? The Young I, Rottweiler. I, I be forgetting it. The oh, five yeah. foot five. Fear Temptation. The sixty second. That was, bro, wait, This is the fourth episode. You keep calling me the sixty second man. Because I'm it's not stuck. the sixty second. It's stuck, bro. No, it didn't. Only you called me the sixty second man. I don't know. We should ask the the the, the, the bitches. The bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, all right well, let's uh, let's get this going. Um, <laughs> Are we recording? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Are We Recording? I'm Gage Sutton here with Ethan Hamilton, the young Rottweiler, the five foot five of oh, temptation. Oh, oh, oh. And we've got episode three or four? I don't know. Dude. Bro, it's four. It's, it's four, four, right? It's four, it's four. Okay, it's episode four. Episode four. You messed it up with episode zero. But anyway, we got Nolan Phillips here to talk all kinds of stuff with us. Yeah, man. I'm excited. Yeah, though. man. My I mean, coworker. Yeah, coworker. UA yeah. family. UA, I do this dumbass. <laughs> it's, it's like the you never mind yeah. Yeah. Okay. but yeah I'm excited you guys brought me on yeah like, for real but we ain't seen you since what is it a minute cause we be catching you at the baseball games mm-hmm. yeah all the time and every last time we talked was you told us what happened with your eye and the- yeah no shit <laughs> <laughs> so what happened so I guess kind of like Walk us through what happened when... Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so uh, it was the end of the sem- this last spring semester, and I was like, yeah, I kind of want to go to, like, something cool, like the movie theaters, like, no real good movies were out, and I was just like, fuck it, I'll go to a baseball game. So Round Rock Express, I mean, the missions are there, too, but I was like, you know, the Round Rock Express, AAA, or the Rangers, I'm kind of a Rangers fan because I'm named after Nolan Ryan, and so I went, I was like, fuck, I went alone, Cause I was like, you know, nerd. I don't think you nerd. <laughs> you went alone. And you know, bitches. No friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the most obscure seat, like down the first base line. I was like, I'm watching the game. Like, what are the chances? Like, I'm ever gonna catch a foul ball? Like, I, I so I didn't bring my glove. I just wore my jersey. And I was just, I bought a beer. I was just chilling. It was like the second inning, bro. I'm like. I shit you not. The first thing I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna go my whole life without ever getting a souvenir. Yeah. And the next inning, uh, French dude is <laughs> up to bat and pop fly. Wouldn't you know it lands, you know, it's coming in my direction. I played baseball. So I was like, ah, fuck yeah, I got this. I was like, boom, routine fly ball. And it went exactly where the glove was supposed to be. And it wasn't in my hand, the glove. I just, <laughs> I just want to know what you were thinking. Like, you're not on the field. Why are you trying to make this catch? <laughs> Honestly, like it didn't even go through my head. That I had a beer that I could catch it with, and that would be a guaranteed <laughs> SC top ten moment. Like, bro, like guaranteed. Plus, like the worst would have happened was like you would have bruised your hand. Like, and you did it like <laughs> right here. But it would have been badass if I. Like, caught do you it. do it with one hand or two hands? One hand. Bro, you set yourself up, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so so what ended up happening? What happened after so, the ball? Boy, it hit me, and then I didn't want to be a bigger bitch than I already looked like. <laughs> So I was on the ground for maybe like three or four seconds, and I don't remember anything of this, but in my, I, I know in my conscious I didn't want to look like a bigger bitch, so I stood up immediately, and you could just see in the video, the blood just like start to roll down oh, my face. You have the video? Yeah. All okay, right, we're, we're, we're going to post it on the, the, We're going to put the video on the if screen you're okay right with now. It. Yeah. If you're, if you're watching right now, why are you asking for consent? We're not asking for consent here on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> But if you're watching right now, you're going to see a video of Nolan getting fucking wrecked by that baseball and think of it not happening <laughs> All right, now pretend we're watching it. Yep. Whoa! Oh, dude, that was bad. Look at his face. It's all oh fucked up. Oh, my God. Come on, kid. It's like a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I don't remember anything until in the video, like a lady comes up to me with a wad full of tissues, and I don't remember anything up until that point. And as fast as I knew it, Paramedics came down. I was like, I tried to wave him off. You can see that in the video too. I was like, I'm, I'm fine. Like I felt fine. I just felt like I got my bell rung. And then she sat me down. She's like, you're gonna need stitches. I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> so they, they rolled me to the back and they're like, yeah, you're probably gonna need like an ambulance. And I was like, I'm not taking a fucking ambulance. I'm not paying that oh, shit for no. a fucking dumbass decision. Called my mom. I was like, mom, do you prefer an ambulance or an Uber? She's like, well, what did you do? 
I was like, well, I'm sitting in the back of the Round Rock Express, and I got hit with a baseball, so. <laughs> anyway, I got two souvenirs. I did catch, or I didn't, I didn't catch the ball. But you, but you I, got to keep the ball. I got to keep the ball, and I got a cool scar out of it, and a cool yeah, story. Yeah. yeah. The bloody ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hell of a story. <laughs> it, it really is, and. I was laughing my ass off when you sent those pictures. Uh, we'll put the pictures on here. Yeah. Too. Are you okay with it? Why do you keep because, asking because consent? Because we, we do believe in consent on this podcast <laughs> as much as Ethan <laughs> wants to say we don't. Anyway. <laughs> Bro, I thought the Rottweiler needs a shot Yeah, collar. the Rottweiler. Dude, we got to get you like one of those electric fences and keep you away from women. That would be women. funny as hell to get <laughs> a shot collar. Yeah, that's it. what I'm saying, but I'm going to get one of those high frequency like remotes and when we go to Sewell, Ethan's getting too close to one of the women. Ethan, back! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> He's like barking at her. Bro, I, how, <laughs> gonna, how, how, bro, how am I going to be a great dating if you won't let me like just rise? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I feel like you're stunting my growth. Like, that would be a great episode, Shut though. Up. Like, me with a shot collar at yeah. school. <laughs> <laughs> You're just barking at random people. Or do you remember that... Do you guys watch Eric Andre? Yeah. Yeah. You remember where he dresses nightmare, up as a... Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Yeah, he dresses up as a Dalmatian and goes into the gas station. <laughs> That's okay. what... We, you haven't seen it? I haven't seen that one. Oh, my God. You're going to have to, like, take some time out of your day and watch it because it's only, like, a two-minute clip. But Ethan can dress up like a dog. We take him to Sewell. I, one of us can have him on a leash, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like one of those OnlyFans girls that gets paid to Girls love help. dogs, bro. Bro, they do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you're convincing me right now. You're convincing me right now. We'll put you on a leash, get you like all groomed up. All groomed up? I would pay for a fade? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my man. God. I feel like Gage is wanting to dine with me right now. Hey, it's just, it's good content. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I bet it is. He's sick, you know that. <laughs> sick, though. <laughs> Well, anyway, we are actually like 20 minutes away from game one of the NBA Finals. The Milwaukee Bucks versus the Phoenix Suns. And just announced Giannis is going to play in game one. Seems a little soon considering how gruesome the injury looked. Luckily, it wasn't anything more than like just a hyperextension. But still, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of this feeling that he might get hurt again. I just have a really bad feeling. I don't know about y'all. It, it seems like a similar situation to when KD got hurt in that Toronto series a couple of years back. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Should Giannis come back tonight? Oh, I don't think he should play. I, yeah, I think they should have waited one more game. I mean, I think that goes to show what the Bucks think about the Suns. I think they want to attack it early and hope that Giannis can at least give them that production to at least, I mean, try and win one of these first two games in Phoenix would give them, obviously, home court advantage going forward in the series. So I think... In retrospect, I think that goes to show that the Suns are actually, like, legit, even though they have had kind of easier competition due to injury. But I I hope, I hope. I'm going to make a statement, and I don't know if you guys will agree with me, but any any basketball fan who's saying, like, oh, well, this is, like, this isn't earned, uh, everyone's getting injured and all this stuff, fuck off, <laughs> please. Because seriously, like, I really do think that Everyone played the same amount of games in the regular season. Some teams were just better at keeping their players healthy. That's part of the game. I think you should actually be like a tr- like you should be like accredited for that for keeping guys healthy all season. So yeah, I mean, you want to call it an empty season? Go ahead. I mean, but, but like yeah, I ultimately the Fe- Phoenix Suns or Phoenix stayed healthy all season. I mean, they did a great job of managing their guys and I mean keeping them on, you know time management for Chris Paul and guys like that so people who are saying that this is like a boring NBA finals because or playoffs because you know teams weren't at their full strength and now we're getting to the finals and these aren't like two big market teams either it's not the Lakers it's not the Knicks any of this stuff people are like oh we don't care you should care this is like the future of basketball (laughs) bro two of the best players at at least in my opinion who are like basically the next Generation of best like of our great players, Devin Booker, Giannis. Yeah, yeah, Giannis is that guy. Giannis is that guy. I'm not much sure about Booker, but Giannis is that guy. Stephen A. Smith compared him to Kobe Bryant. I don't know about all that, but I, I do. I do think Devin Booker is going to be really good. He's he's, he's only 24, 25. Yeah, he don't play like Kobe. He, he doesn't, but I mean, he's just he's a bucket getter. I yeah, think he, in the sense of like, and he does not care if he like misses. Like, yeah, he just goes in one ear out the other. Yeah, exactly. Like he just he just. He scores at will. Like, that's that's something that I've always said about Kobe, though. Kobe was a lockdown defender. I don't think Devin Booker is anywhere near that Plus, point. Plus, Kobe was, like, 
uber athletic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Devin Booker, he like yeah, he can dunk, but he's not putting out somebody's head. Mm-hmm. I think the big thing too is like I think Devin Look Booker can be a leader, but like not the leader that Kobe Bryant was. Like Kobe had the whole team on lock, and I think that's more Chris Paul, at least right now. Mm-hmm. But and kind of to segue back to like what you said, and I agree with that too, because every postseason has like injuries or suspensions or just like weird shit that happens that yeah, in every sport. Cha- yeah. In every sport. And in, in the NFL, we never say, like, oh, well, you know, this team didn't earn their Super Bowl. They didn't have to play against this team. Full t- it happens. Yeah. Injuries happen. And happen. it's just a matter of keeping your guys as healthy as possible, teaching them the right ways to, you know, take care of themselves in the offseason and during the season. And look where the Suns are now. Yeah. No, the su- Suns are cool. Like, I think they'll, I think they'll win the series. Honestly, like, I, I don't think Giannis is healthy. And even though I, how great, like, cause I, I've been on the, the Middleton, Drew bandwagon. Oh, no. ever since. Middleton, dude, Chris Middleton has been so hit or miss for me. Like, bro, have you seen Colin Cowherd's top 10 list of the players in the finals? No. I'm going to pull it up. Y'all it's, keep talking. It okay, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. is blasphemous. But, like, I was just, like, Middleton's a hooper, bro. Like, he's just, he does, when he wants to, he's a <sighs> yeah, hooper. Yeah, yeah, when he wants to is the key word. Because now, it's not even when he wants to, because he be taking the shots even though he misses. It's like, when, whenever his shots hit, bro... He looks like a second option on a championship team mm-hmm, like when he yeah. hits those shots. And him and Drew played great in that. Um, more so Drew. Drew played great in that Atlanta series. Middleton played great towards the end. I, I would sit Giannis out like this game because they're hot right now. You know what I mean? Like they're really hot. That, I'm not going to lie. You, if you want to say Colin Cowherd's list, that is such an awful list. Oh, my God. So he starts it. This is from Colin Cowherd, the herd. I don't know what the whole copyright bullshit is <laughs> now we should be okay. Chris Paul goes one <laughs> Booker he's got two Giannis at three and I don't think he said anything about health reasons I think he just put Giannis at three which is crazy he has Drew above Chris which I don't agree with then he's got DeAndre Ayton Jay Crowder then Brooke Lopez and I think it's Macau Bridges and <laughs> fucking campaign. campaign is number 10 that's such a bad list yeah like, that's... Bro, Giannis is top two Giannis number is one. one he's one the thing without is, without a doubt, it's without like, a doubt, and it's then, one and then maybe a space, a two, yeah. and then three, yeah. and then Devin. Booker. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, y- yes, he's hurt, but Giannis is undoubtedly a top five, six top five player. player in the world right now. Like thirty, fifty. He's not of, top five. I think he's six. Okay, over okay, well, who's, that's who's over him? Uh, Kawhi, LeBron, Harden, Steph. Harden, Harden can't be above him. Harden when he like cares. Oh, There's some fat. people who are gonna be like listening and like your <laughs> who's your friend my, is a Rockets fan. <laughs> Devin, Devin Glass. That Devin. Devin. That's Listen, my that. thing is that Harden can play all four quarters and hit free throws and play make. And Giannis is good at he's better at Harden than defense, rebounds, and paint scoring. But you like it's not ideal to play Giannis at the late of games. Where Harden, that's where you want to play it. But he's played great like at later games. I know we make fun of him. For not hitting his free throws, but he he hit his free throws yeah. against Atlanta, and he's hitting threes too. The thing is, like that was always such a big, I, I guess, like criticism of Giannis is that he couldn't shoot threes either. And now in the playoffs, he's hit some big ones. Like he yeah. might not be the most efficient three point shooter, but he's making them now, and that's. I yeah. don't know. I don't know if I said KD to round at the top. Yeah, oh no, yeah, KD's, KD's definitely KD's top good. five. Yeah. KD's top two. Probably. He's top one. I think top he's one. one. Yeah. I think he. I think he passed LeBron with how he proved himself I think in the Bucs series. I know I like I I know Gage has heard me talk about this. I think Katie's been the best player in the world for like the last four years. Yeah. Yeah, like you dropped forty and ten on a guy. In twenty eighteen LeBron though. LeBron didn't win the series. Well in twenty eighteen? He went to the finals. Yeah, Katie went to the finals too. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. Okay, yeah. I get what you mean. Like I get Oh, it. who won the series? I understand. Yeah, I'm like I get it, Katie had Steph and Clay. Well, I'm not giving sympathy points to LeBron. Like, everybody talks about like how he cared. Everybody talks about how he carried that Cavs team. Who did they legit play in, in that playoff run? They played the Celtics in the Eastern in Game Seven. Eastern they played Conference Toronto. Run. They played yeah. Toronto, Indiana. LeBronto. 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 <laughs> they played Ter- LeBronto, Indiana, and they played Boston. Are those realistically any of those title contending teams? Or there are a bunch of seven, eight teams. I say Boston was. Boston Isaiah's- definitely because Boston was one game away from making it. Boston had Isaiah Thomas like grieving over like the death of his sister, and Isaiah Tom and uh, Jason Tatum was a rookie. Yeah, it was not no championship team. That team played. The only team that had a chance was Toronto, but no, they, LeBron was, owned them. So not even Toronto. Indiana <laughs> well, Toronto had the best. Was, Indiana was the best out of the three in twenty eighteen. Yes, I don't remember them being the one seed. I remember them being well, really no, good in like twenty. 
fifth. They went to one seed before Paul George got hurt. But I mean, it's Depot's first year. It's when Depot was playing crazy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they had five 15 point per game scores on that team. Yeah. Was Sabonis wasn't there? Or no, was he? no, no, no. Sabonis. No, he was went. There, he went. He went there with Vic. You're right. He it was from OKC. It was him. Miles Turner was there. Both all those guys averaging 15 and plus. Like yeah. that's the only team. Like, but even then, like if that team played in today, like this year, that's a that's a seven eight seed. Let's be yeah. honest. Like that Toronto team, maybe it's a four or five seed. Same with that Boston, but he didn't yeah. face like a title contending team. That's why I don't get what people gas that series. That series. That team, with that, like, that run was cool. Like, his 27, 27, 2007 run was way better. Yeah. In that, in my opinion. Well, I feel like we're going to be talking a lot about the NBA in the coming weeks because we got the draft. We're going to see who's crowned the champion. So, kind of move off that topic. But before we do, predictions for the series. Ethan, start with you. Uh, if Giannis, like, is healthy, uh, if Giannis is healthy, Bucks and... If... Bucks and six if they can do everything right. All right. That includes they gotta slow Paul uh, Paul George, <laughs> uh, Chris Paul down because Chris Paul like when he plays slow they suck. Yeah. Yeah. Like, w- but when they let like him and Cam play play run and gun with Devin Booker, mm-hmm. then they end up blowing you out the water. And then Drew's gotta defend. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> He's gotta make it tough for for Booker because Pat Bev had him locked up the last three games of the series. Who are they gonna put on Chris Paul then? Do you think? Uh, who do you have? They run... Pat, is Pat Connaughton starting? They're running Connaughton at the two right now. Because with DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's been out. And he's probably not going to come back this series. No, he tore his ACL. Yeah, he's done. He'll probably switch off Chris Paul and Booker, but yeah. I'd rather Pat... Yeah. Uh, I, you, you can throw I, Middleton on if, that, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Chris Middleton's a pretty good defender, too. If you really wanted to, you could put Drew Holiday on Chris Paul. Uh, you could put Chris Middleton on Devin Booker. And then have Connaughton guard... Mikel uh, Bridges. Mikel Bridges. I mean... Uh, I could see the Bucks winning in six, but that's if Giannis can play. If Giannis is healthy, if Giannis is and 30, the rest of the guys have to step up. If Brook Lopez has a game like he had against Atlanta in yeah. game six, He's Milwaukee's going to be fighting. They're going to be in it. He just has to guard the pick and roll because mm-hmm. Atlanta was tearing him up at the beginning of the series with the pick and roll. Like, y'all was seeing them. Like, mm-hmm. Trey was hitting floater after floater after think, floater. Man? Like, it's, like, I wish I could make the prediction after game one because I literally have no idea how it's going to go. Yeah. And... My gut for the last, ever since we knew what the teams were going to be, are the Suns, just because I think they're, other than the last two games of the Atlanta series, and without Giannis getting hurt, I think the Suns have just played more consistent basketball through the whole playoffs. So, I, I, like, my gut is just telling me Suns in seven or six. Yeah. The thing is, I was hoping for this series. I was dreaming for this series. I was salivating at the thought of Giannis versus Chris Paul and Devin Booker and all those guys because I think they're a really great team. Like, they don't have a top 10 player in the world right now. But Phoenix is just... Top, you can make the case they don't have a top 15. They don't have a top 15 yeah. player. I mean, Devin Booker's really good. He's I think he's quickly approaching that. But... Do they have a top 20 player? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think Devin Booker's think top 20. Booker or Paul, you can make Paul's it. Paul's not a top 20. You don't think he... No. Bro, I thought he was in the MVP conversation. Yeah, but it was like... I gotta give my friend Jason credit to this, like... I was me and my friend Travis was saying that Chris Paul is the best player in this team. He's not. He might be the most important. Uh, even then, I don't think he's the most important. I think I think he is the most, important, is the most but important, he's, important. I think Chris Paul was because the thing is how the Suns were like right there making the playoffs and all, and I've been saying for years that they just needed to get a good point guard to run with Devin Booker. They tried getting Ricky Rubio, that didn't work <laughs> out, and now they got Chris Paul, and I mean it just all worked out. I think Devin Booker, when you get him a good facilitating point guard who can also defend and is just a great leader on the court, they're going to be set. That Suns team is really good. DeAndre Ayton is going to be a key, but too. Yeah. Ayton's the X factor. They don't win this series if they don't give Ayton the ball. Well, they're that depends if Giannis is playing. No, yeah. even then, if, if, if you don't give Ayton the ball, if you don't give Ayton the ball, you're not winning the game. Yeah. Like, you saw that Clippers series. Like Every time, like towards the end of like the last three games, when they gave Ayton the ball, they would blow on the mouth. Because Tyler was always running them small. Mark, like, they had uh, Marcus Morris at center. Yeah. And DeAndre Aiden was just, I think he was, like, what was it, like, 71% from the field, which is, like, insane. Yeah. Yeah. Including the game winner. You know, top but, of ultimately, I think I'm going to go Suns in seven if Giannis plays the whole series, I'm assuming. I think Milwaukee's going to fight. And uh, it should be a fun, close series. Um, I'm really okay with either of them winning. Yeah. But, um, Who do you got, Nolan? 
I said Suns in six. Suns in six. I said Suns in seven. It's just really exciting to see if Chris Paul gets his first ring or Giannis gets his first ring. I think Giannis gets his. If for me, if Giannis gets his first ring, he puts himself top twenty all time. Mm -hmm. I think so too. He's he's starting to get that conversation because I mean, think about his run. He's one of the only players to win MVP and defensive player in the year. In the same year, one, one, and then he'll have a finals, probably finals MVP. Yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like at that's 25. Top, that's not even... At, at 25. Like, Jordan didn't have that. Yeah. Jordan didn't make his first finals until he was 26 or 26. 7, I think. So, yeah. This is a really exciting series for the future of basketball. And, I mean, like I said, we're going to be talking a lot more about it in the coming weeks. But right now, I want to talk about... Under Armour. Job. Yeah, I know. I was going to say Under Armour. Armour. Y'all, we can talk about this. So, no I guess one, I'll start because yeah. I'm... Like yeah, you, you got him the job. You yeah, got Ethan yeah, the job. You hooked me up. How long, how long I've been waiting there? Like a month right now? Yeah. Bro, 15 hours ridiculous. 15 dollars an hour. I'm about to quit my job. <laughs> Bro, it's, it's literally because everywhere is hiring because like, like no one wants to work and it makes sense because mm-hmm. you're getting more money by not working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, I so I started work, it was actually kind of funny. I started work in March of 2020 and I worked one shift before we closed down for COVID. Oh, uh, so you came back, like, right, like, you really started working, like, when COVID hit, like, when they yeah. let lax on, like, the rules and stuff? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you, so y'all like retail, though? Like, retail yeah. is, like, something... Like, retail over food any day, bro. Oh, for sure, for sure. So, okay, we're, yeah. we're talking about Under Armour, which it, it seems like you guys are having fun, it's a good job. What's the worst job you guys have had, and what's, like, one of the worst experiences that you've ever had? Oh, my gosh, at, that's at tough. Work? You gotta tell me your Under Armour stories. I can you gotta tell about Under Armour stories, but because oh, yeah, I yeah, really yeah. worked it. And all I do is, like, I be chilling, bro. Like, I be really chilling. Like, when I say I might be the best employee ever. Like, I just... <laughs> like, <laughs> employee I, of the year? I, what are you already, brother? All I, I do is I be chilling. I won the most valuable <laughs> teammate my first full month Ooh. there, though. Oh. So I was, I was, like, rookie of the month and MVP of the month. This guy. Yeah, I'm not going to get that, but... <laughs> <laughs> you say you're an employee of the yeah, year? Yeah, but I, I do a lot of stuff that don't show up on the stat sheet. So yeah, I, mean, I do a lot of stuff. I got a lot of customers. Bad. Like, I don't be doing nothing, bro. Like, this is, like, such an exact opposite of, like, what you guys hear from me and people here, like, on the podcast, bro. I'm so quiet. Like, I just literally just go sit, like, in the shoes or I just fold clothes for, like, three hours and yeah. nobody come talk to me. That's what I like about that job because you can just, like, you don't have to talk to anyone. Like, literally for your whole shift. Yeah. Other than your manager, like, you ask your manager, like, hey, what am I doing? Or in the morning, I do shit, and I'm like, and what am I doing today? It's like, I'll have you open. I'll just open for four and a half hours. And especially before hours, like, you know, we're not supposed to listen to music, but he lets us wear headphones, so I just, like, blast music for four and a half hours and stuff yeah. in boxes. Yeah. But, like, my worst experience, I worked at Lowe's in Utah. <laughs> Bro, this lady, like, the machine was like glitching out and she wanted cash back and I was like, I'm trying my best. And she just started going in on me. I was like, I turned the screen around and I was like, it's frozen. Like I'm literally pressing cash back and it's not doing anything. The guy behind her literally paid her the cash back and said, fuck that bitch. And she went, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm telling you, sometimes though, like I know, I know I said the food sir or like the food industry is the worst and I stand by it, but people can be assholes in retail bro it is yeah. just there's some people who are so unreasonable just show up to the counter and are just such it's the, it's the hardest people to deal with in the world it's the entitled ass people mm-hmm. yeah and you especially get that at the outlets because and it, you have to keep your cool too mm-hmm. because i mean if you start losing it you're gonna lose your job yeah and i mean if it's a job that you really like like under armor bro if, if someone came in and was bugging y'all like that for 15 dollars an hour they can do whatever they want i'd let them spit too. on me I just want to say wait, anything. wait. I just want to say anything. I'd go get Alessandro or some shit. He's like, I need to go fucking smoke. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I rap a lot like they and chill. We got a couple. I'm not saying no names because if they see this podcast, I lose my fifteen dollars an hour. But y'all like getting on me for like not following like, the, phone, the phone rules. Y'all aren't following the hygiene rules. Like, how you show up to work? <laughs> how, you, how you show up to work and you smell like that? Keep it a buck, bro. Like, you can't tell me anything about it. Like, anything I do in work. If you don't follow the hygiene rules. Bro, you smell like a pack of Marlboros. Like, bro, what? 
You're a grown ass man. Go take a shower. Stinky, bro. Stinky. Stinky, bro. It's a thing called a deodorant. Bro, what? Sweet stick. Go get it, bro. I'll buy you it. Uh, just put some mouthwash in your car. Take it out of my paycheck, please. <laughs> I'll work for $13 an hour for me to find your ass some mouthwash. Bro, what? Bro, like, and that's with the masks on, too. Bro, how do I smell you through a mask, bro? That's like a filter. Two masks. <laughs> that's coming from his mouth. Bro, too. we got the cool mask, though. Like, yeah. yeah, Under Armour's are nice. Yeah, nah, like, I just don't understand, like, how you smell that bad and you go to work? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you you and it's like the yourself. older people, like, bro, you need to take a shower? You're paying the water bill, use it. To- <laughs> <laughs> use it, like, I don't get that, like, you're wasting my time, like. They're making manager's money, too. Like, yeah, like, what's manager's money? I think it's like 23. Bro, I'm legit, my pants is soaked right now. Like, I wanted the listeners to know, like, I'm dripping. Like, I'm <laughs> dripping right now. 23 an hour? But like, bro, an hour? I'm a here, slut listen. for 23. I'm a slut for 15. If I you, can do a whole, you can do a whole lot better things than manage a retail store for 23 an hour. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's, what, like, we're, that's what we're going to college. There's a big difference between <laughs> like a college kid dealing with problems, but like the manager dealing with all of the store's problems and on top of our problems. Like, that's a lot for 23 an hour. That's true. Like, I, I don't know. Like, that's just crazy amount of money. Like, you, you gotta tell me some of the messy stories. So I don't even be hearing nothing. Bro, there's just like. We don't gotta say names. If we say names, we believe it. Cause, yeah. Hey, we learned how to use the bleep button. If, you, if you're wondering what I said the last episode. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty useful, but uh, we, shouldn't, <laughs> we shouldn't overuse it. <laughs> he said. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, this, is, this is gonna get bleep. <laughs> he said, <laughs> you'd rather have a low no, job no, 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 from no, no. a tra- I, I would. I would love to have a bleep prank from oh, uh, no. bro, I, I love the bleep button so much, bro. Oh, like it's, no. it's the greatest. We're gonna overuse the fuck out of this. Yeah, I know. But it's okay. Our future employers know that we know how to use Adobe Audition. <laughs> <laughs> but like the messiest part is that like when I got there, like everyone was fucking everyone. So I knew it. Let me okay. <laughs> I, I knew it, bro. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't Bro, I remember our, my first shipment I took from you, right? First mm-hmm. shipment shipped at work. This older lady, right? Older African American lady, and this younger African American lady. They were all talking, and they was being messy. You know the people I'm talking about. I know exactly. They was talking. talking. I'm thinking like they they were talking so loud, like I could hear them over the music. And I'm like, you know what I mean? It's five a.m. in the morning, and I'm pulled an online. They're like, it's my first shift, so I'm not trying to talk to nobody. And they being so messy, like they talking about everybody and anybody that works like Under Armour, people that I haven't even met yet. And they're spilling tea about, not even Nolan, but, like, the people Nolan hang out with and everybody, bro. They didn't spill any beans about Nolan? No, no, they didn't talk about that. They like Nolan. I'm a pretty clean they, guy. Like, they like Nolan. They don't, they, they don't like the girl that Nolan hangs out with. Oh. She, she's not your girl. I'm not trying to say she, she's your girl. But yeah, so he's single. Put the phone number. Single. Phone number on the screen. Mm-hmm. Just another one of the, the boys. The boys. Uh, <laughs> Nolan Phillips. My blood <laughs> type is A. Uh, my social security number is one 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 one. You gotta do it like like a like one of those player introductions. Like when you're coming out, yeah. Nolan I, Phillips, BYU. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you have to do BYU, right? Nolan Phillips. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> How do you fuck up your dating profile? <laughs> Texas State University, uh, number fucking four, I guess. I'm five seven. I weigh 150 pounds. I'm single as shit. They already put my phone number. Yeah, yeah check it so out. Phone see. number. Exercise sports science major, so I know how to work the right muscles. And this guy he's said from... that. He said that. He said that. <laughs> he said that. He said that. Bro, but like, like, it was just so funny. Like, listen to them talk, because they could tell I was listening on them, because they were like, you know you can talk to us, right? And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to talk to us. <laughs> like, I was like, I, I don't want to. I just want to hear this. It's funny. But they was just being so messy about it. Like, just people not liking each other. I'm like, y'all are, like, above the drinking age. Yeah. Why are you this messy? Like, that's what I, like, love and hate about shipment. Like, there is no filter in shipment. Like, we just talk shit. Like, because there aren't any customers. So, like, I mean, we can, I mean, we swear, obviously. And, like, we don't have to act retail-esque anymore. In, in yeah, because you're in the back. Like, you're not out with people. Yeah. I know there's, like, kind of a switch you have to turn on when you're, like, talking to customers. Or you just don't talk. Or you just don't talk. <laughs> well, it was different because I actually worked at Champs at the outlets, and we worked off commission. Yeah, so I had to talk to people. 
Imagine if we got that show. Bro, if we had to do commission. Commission's bro. horrible, dude. Right. Because on the days it was really slow, he would make seven twenty five an hour. I'd rather. Well, that's what I'm saying. And on the days it was busy, I mean, depending on how good you were, I don't think I was ever making fifteen dollars an hour because I was a shitty salesman. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, fifteen dollars. What percent did you get? You remember? How does commission even work? It's such like a dumb idea. So yeah, I, it's it's really stupid, especially with shoes, bro. Because shoes are expensive. Like I mean, the ones that we had at Champs were like you know average hundred hundred twenty dollars each pair of shoes. So, you try to sell as many pairs of shoes as possible, and then I think you get, like, 2% of the sale, like, 2.5% of the sale Damn. of the entire sale. That's nothing. It's that's nothing. Like, that's, like, it's, it's like, two nothing. bucks a pair of shoes. That's really what it is. Like. That's what I'm saying, and you have to sell, like, and it's for every hour, and it was just, it was crazy. Like, I started to pick it up a little bit. I got a little bit better, but if you work commission, I, I'm giving you props. It's hard as hell. It really is. No, I don't say he's ready. I don't work with us. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. We'll see because right now you got me pushing carts at HUB <laughs> for ten dollars an hour. I can do a shipment podcast. I am sweating. A, shipment podcast. a what? A shipment podcast? We just be hanging shirts and that's just it. <laughs> yeah, we do uh, a day in the life of uh, Under Armour. Yeah, I know, right? they would see the fuck out of us. <laughs> 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 Probably like two people would watch it. We work for the club, <laughs> and it'd be it'd be the CEO of Under Armour and then one of our managers and then two people watching it. <sighs> well, no, but go, go back. I know I interrupted you, but you were talking about like the messy stuff at work because I want to know the tea because I want to go out to work to. In the next couple of days, it just no <laughs> team, Honestly, like that's pretty much it. That's, like oh, no. of the in, intermingling of everyone, I don't get myself associated with people at work because oh. that gets that gets of messy. Of course, of course, you would never do that, Nolan. Of course not. Um, would you try? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, he was he was just straight up with it though. So, <laughs> but there's, there's there's a couple. Good looking people under there's, there's a lot of good I lied. There's a lot of good looking people. But we people were talking out, before right? we started. There's no pretty girl wakes up at four AM. No no no. Oh yes, yeah, so and I don't want to work in shipment with you. Yeah. No, no. You can't you can't they won't wake up at four at four AM. But they will be here. Me. They I will be here at eleven. And guess who else will be there? <laughs> you guessed it. <laughs> the young <Rottweiler. laughs> like, like, bro. Why did you make that your gamer tag? The young Rottweiler? I don't even know, bro. Like I used to have my name, my gamer tag used to be like Ethan five to nine one, but then people started like I used to do hot mics and they used to be like fuck you Ethan, and I'd be like, I, I used to be like how do you know my name? <laughs> Thinking about and I was like oh so I think I changed mine to like Bean Boy because it just made me laugh. Bean Boy <laughs> yeah, mine is um, Mike Oxlum. Bro, you make that everything like that's your. Username. It's just it's just funny because I mean like people call me Mike and I'm like, it's not my name but I mean, <laughs> no one knows my name unless I'm like a close friend with you on PlayStation but yeah. by the way PlayStation is the superior console facts 100% thank you uh, you got a PS5 right yeah I got lucky we only reached here on this podcast all we're recording if you don't got a PS5 get out of here broke boys to go back to my player profile I got a PS5 <laughs> and an air fryer I don't need a bitch but I want one Man, he said an air fryer too come on you can't deny it now I can't cook but I can sure as hell make up a hell of a bowl of cereal and cook with that fucking air fryer you use the air fryer oh I thought you were going to say like you can use the air fryer with like, cereal yeah like that would taste disgusting uh, like cinnamon extra toast crunch Extra, t- I might try that. No, because I don't like hot milk. My abuela, she doesn't like hot cook it with milk. Like, cook the cereal and then dump it in a cool bowl of milk. I might try that. Hmm. But I feel like it'd burn fast. Yeah. We should do a cooking episode. Like, just we cook should, random shit. That would be live. What would we cook, though? I don't know. Just we'll ask the people. No? No, no. Gonna, <laughs> they don't get they're going to do some dumbass shit. Like, yeah, you're going to tell us to cook. Like, Sprite and bananas. And, oh, no. Bro, I did that one time. I threw up all over the yard, bro. <laughs> you did that? Yeah. Oh, That's like man. one of the stupider trends that like... Yeah, that was started. a really dumb challenge. But. The, the w- Which other one was dumb? Cinnamon. Cinnamon stuff that... Oh, the cinnamon that. challenge. Oh, the salt in the ice. The salt in the ice is bad. Oh, no. You put <laughs> salt in your skin, and then you put ice on it, and it, like, reacts. Oh, no. I'm not Can't a kid. It, burn, it burns your fucking skin. Yeah. Like, Ugh. bad. Like, really bad. I remember one time, I already, I did the Kim K thing with the lips, but I already got big black with the lips. <laughs> <laughs> so my shit didn't even change, bro. Do you do the shot glass lips? I did that one. What else? I, what else I did? Oh, the Kylie um, Jenner. Thing. The Kylie yeah, Jenner challenge, I yeah. I messed it up. <laughs> Some people busted their lip on that. Yeah. Like, they, like, literally ripped it open. 
But yeah, like, I remember, do you guys ever do, like, the glue thing? I was, like, obsessed with, like, Oh, yeah, 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 just getting, getting some, like, the Elmer's glue and, like, just, like, letting it dry up. And then peeling, and, like, it, peeling it, it off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that a lot. I had this one chick. You could tell you were bored when you were doing that. Yeah, no. Nah, just, <laughs> just getting, like, Elmer's glue. Just, like. Bro, I had this one chick in my class, right? She did it, like, her whole hand. She would do her whole hand and she'd make it like an inch thick, right? And then like I'm me? exaggerating, of course. An inch. What did you say? <laughs> you I said that. What did you really say? Said I, that. I actually didn't hear. Oh, bro, Play you, back. <laughs> bro, you really said that. Like, I just can't even, like, get over the fact he said that. But, like, I, he threw me off my game right there. <laughs> but she, like, painted her hand, right? She did it with the glue. Mm-hmm. She would take it out without. Her goal would be to take it out without. Breaking like a glove, like a glove. So she have like a hand glue. Uh, cast. I was like, "You dirty, you're dirty." It's like a pocket pussy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That, those are the best though. I'm not gonna lie. We should we should try. <laughs> we should make one for gay. And <laughs> a review. We should make a review for gay. That's the episode we review them. When we do the OnlyFans model, we should get her to review them. You got an OnlyFans model? Yeah, we're gonna get an OnlyFans. We're, we're thinking model. about it. Yeah. Thinking about it, if you know, hey, if any of you guys, young harlots, know one of your friends that she didn't go to college and she's doing OnlyFans, <laughs> they didn't come on this podcast and make some money. Not from us, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll promote you. We're just not going to pay you. We're not going to pay you money. Show. Yeah, no. It's, it's strictly we're a non-profit, so. <laughs> you actually have to pay us to be on the show. Don't do that. No, no. Nobody's going to come kidding. on. Nobody's going to come on. <laughs> All right. We're back after our intermission bath break. We took all three of us took together. <laughs> and while we were in the bath, you know, just, <laughs> just while we were in the bath, you know, this knew that we was talking about like our experience sliding into DMs and how like Texas State has changed this when it comes to sliding into DMs. Because I'm not gonna lie. I stopped trying. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stop trying? It's something about because, Texas Because, bro, it's hard. So? I think it's just because I'm horny. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, dude, I don't know. I just, I'm like, I'm Shaq at the free throw line when it comes to shooting my shot on DMs, bro. It is horrible. But that's the the thing, though. Shaq shot 50%. 50? Yeah. I wish I was shooting 50%. That's what I'm saying. Like, (laughs) if you keep shooting, you're fine. Keep shooting? Just sink one. You can keep shooting, bro. Like honestly, like what the thing is. So, like, okay, so give me y'all's advice then. Th- let's let's. So dive what do you do? What do you do? I actually so, want to hear from you first. I'm at a bar. I'm at a bar. Are we role playing? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the role play. Do yeah. the role play. All right, I'll, I'll just watch. Oh Wait, God. are you are you a lady? Yeah. Oh, okay, you're okay. the lady. <laughs> Put the hat around her. Hey, you're not gonna like walk up, or you just nah, sit next nah, to her. I'm sitting. She, she walks up so me. much fun. She, <laughs> oh. <laughs> For those who are listening right now, he did, he did, what is it, he flipped his hat around. Like in the GTA 5 strippers. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think the, tr- the trick is, is like, you just gotta be confident, like, and it's a lot, like, it's a lot of fake it till you make it type of shit. That's yeah. what I kind of learned. It's like, hmm. you just lie. Like, lie about who you are. Why are you telling me this at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot we're role playing. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, you're not doing a great job. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, we're sleeping that. Bro, we're not believing that. <laughs> we're totally <laughs> believing that. <laughs> but, like, honestly, like, you just gotta start it like this. You just gotta be like, you always ask, like, even if you don't drink, you always ask what, what she's drinking. What girls and then, you, yeah, all right. You just, so. like, pull the shirt and, like, roll it through. Like. And you make yourself look like you have tits. That's pretty good. That's pretty Shit. good. Not, I mean, yeah, you're gonna ruin a great shirt, but. Yeah. And then you do that, you always ask what they. But they drink it even if you don't drink. Okay. Because I honestly you don't give a fuck. So you do that, right? And after you do that, you just ask her, "Hey, do you see your dad in me?" <laughs> what's the what do you what's the normal what's response? So what's, what am I supposed to say? What, what does the girl normally say to that? She's gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, you look! I haven't seen my dad in forever." Like. Me and him really don't get along because ninety percent of all girls. Do. <laughs> so you're trying to figure out she has daddy issues. Or not? <laughs> of course, you always have to talk to them about if they have daddy issues or not, because every girl has daddy issues, and that's okay because I love girls that have daddy issues. <laughs> all right, 
So tip number one is from Ethan, and he says go after girls with daddy issues. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you have daddy issues. <laughs> Always ask if they have their dad in their life. No matter what the answer is, you say, do you see your dad in me? Tip that's one. A, that's tip one. And right. then you ask, do you see me in you? Oof. At least tonight. That, hey, I'm not going to lie. That was great. That was great. We're giving you the keys. All Listen, right. You know what? Yeah, this is all your conversation. This is all no, you know. No, 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 no. This is all you know, man. Uh, what, what, what do you do at the bar? Man? I usually just say one of my dad jokes and hope that it sticks. This guy? Yeah, I know. A dad joke? That's a white like, people like, thing. Like, is that it good? is a definite white person thing. Like... So I, I mean, what else, am I, like, what else can I do? I mean, I can't, I can't like hoop in front of her and impress her. I can't. <laughs> that would be sick. That's a sicko. Like you bringing up basketball to the bar and they just like, try to hoop at the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah like Gio is just like going crazy with the ball. <laughs> it, the like like at the bar, shit. you're sick in the fucking head if you try to do that. Like some professor live. <laughs> like, bro, and that girl's like, oh, who's that guy? He really likes to set a hand of balls. <laughs> <laughs> like you're getting the wrong response. Like you going that too far. Like I don't know. Like I feel like like I know some guys, <coughs> Travis, that would do that stuff. <laughs> I that can't wait till we have Travis on the show, bro. bro. Travis is gonna slander me to your face. <laughs> like he's the one guy that I know for sure. Like he busts while you pussy. Like I know that. <laughs> 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 oh, are we recording? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the whole green highlight thing with the laugh. Oh, oh yeah, my gosh! Yeah. I know the audio was oh. just terrible right there, but we're dying, bro. Oh, oh man, that was really. <laughs> Travis is the guy. So dude. good, dude. Bro, I remember the first time oh, we said man. that to him, like when we was hanging out with girls one day, like, and we wasn't even trying to get with the girls because we we're respectable gentlemen, oh. of course. And right. he said that in front of the girls, and he got so like his dark skin ass got so red. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got purple. <laughs> oh um, man, I was. That was really funny. Travis is going to slander me when he goes out Yeah, I honestly want Travis to come on the show. We're going to ask him the same thing. We want to ask him for his relationship advice, and we'll see. <laughs> oh, like his, his advice on sliding in the DMs and picking up girls at bars. Yeah. yeah he's oh, well, now that you're fresh he's 21. Gonna... Oh, Gage is 21. You've got a whole lot more experience now. Bar scene's a whole lot different than, like, class or... That's true. That's true. I just find it so weird, bro. And I don't know, maybe, maybe one of y'all can correct me or one of the one or two girls that watch our show yeah, yeah I was checking the, I was checking the data it's like two girls watch our show you love to see hey you, you love two girls see. I love you we just need one more bad we just need one more it might one be, two three Ethan it might be like our yeah, don't say that bro. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, bro. but no it's your sister <laughs> but if, for any for any of the females that do listen to the show well, what what do you do like would it be weird if like a guy like tries talking to you hey Pays. Pays? Yeah, guys, girls like when guys pay. I don't oh, pay. Like oh, like for like, like food and like... Oh, no, I thought you meant for like, like Talk to me. No. That's not, <laughs> that's not how that works. I, I was saying like... For you, get me, a, you get a different kind of girl. For me, I, I would feel weird like <laughs> going to a girl I, I like know at work or like <laughs> see a girl in class and like, you know, like ask her to like to yeah. hang out. Like, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just not that smooth. You but, don't have to be smooth. Like I, from one of my friends who... I've seen him strike out multiple times at parties because he's literally the most confident, one of the most confident guys I've ever met. You just have to just keep shooting. Hmm. Like a, a hundred round SMG is gonna get somebody clipped. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> somebody's getting caught. You know what I mean? I, I think, I definitely love to hear a girl's opinion on this. So actually, we should. I think we were planning on doing like a whole relationship advice episode with one of your friends, right? Yeah, yeah. My friends Yusuf and Grace. You're gonna hear them on the next episode. We're gonna get. Is there a high high school sweetheart? <laughs> and, <laughs> and they're going to give the relationship advice because they're going to help me engage out on how to get our future wives. Because, hey, Mrs. Hamilton, I know you're out there. And I want to let you know I miss you and wait for me. I'm two more girlfriends away till I get you. Y'all should get Wait, tender. is her name SZA? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm two more girlfriends SZA away. SZA Hamilton? SZA Hamilton. That's not her real name. Only me and her know okay. her actual name. But. Like mommy and daddy? Bro, you're sick. <laughs> like, you're sick. Like, you said that. Like, I was going to say, y'all should get tender for that episode. And, like, they should tell y'all what to say. Oh, that should, that should be one of the segments. Hey, yeah. that's actually a really good idea. Like, we have our tenders, and then, like, we're like, all right, help us build our profiles. Or, or, or just let them, like, swipe for us. Yeah. That's such a great idea. You want to do that? 
Yeah, we can make like a do like a like a dual profile. Like we have pictures of both of us and like. Okay. <laughs> no, but then like, and but you then put like looking for a third. <laughs> that wasn't where I was going with it. I was saying like the girls could swipe and be like, oh yeah, I like I like uh, I like the I like the young Rottweiler. Dude, you try, you try to appease to me. You, you didn't right, get away right. with that. You didn't get away with what you just said. You sicko. No. <laughs> you're, you're disgusting. If you could meet girls. I mean, gay, we were going to have different profiles, so you can get what he wants with that. Sounds <laughs> You're really on your Jack Harlow shirt right now, huh? Me? Yeah. What do you mean? It's a white boy summer. Like, it is I've a white boy summer. I've conceded. Like, you guys see Tom Holland was making out with Zendaya. Yes. And now I'm not going to see any of the next Spider-Man movies. <laughs> <laughs> can you get a W for us? Yeah, that's a dub for Caucasian males. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Jack Harlow was trying to... Tom Holland didn't make out with Zendaya. We made out with Zendaya. <laughs> yeah, we <I> did. <laughs> Is that the title of the episode we made out with Zendaya? We made out with Zendaya, yeah. There you go. Oh my gosh, that's funny, because it was... <laughs> you're not white. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Xavier is behind the camera. Our and cameraman. The cameraman, our... Uh, he would be a great cameraman. Executive producer. Executive producer. Yeah. He's like Jamie on JRE. No, no, yeah, he would, or he's like the casting couch, like, guy. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> <And> so, he, <laughs> so what we got right now is good, but, you know, some of the agencies want to see a little bit more, you know? Uh, You're so stupid. You know way I'm too much of the dialogue. Yeah, so I, I watch it for the plot, bro. Pizza delivery. <laughs> what? This isn't a beach. This is a bathtub. <laughs> this is a beach. This is a bathtub. <laughs> I got an extra long sausage for you. <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow. You got the 90s porn music playing? That's so overrated. I'm like... 90s? 90s, over, 90s porn, like... I don't think I ever watched You like the mustache I don't watch porn and all much. the pubic hair? <laughs> Wait, what? Who said that? I love how that, like, he didn't even talk about the women. He just talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> mustaches and pubic. Well, girls had, well, girls had mustaches back in the 90s. <laughs> no, well, that, back then. Back then. <laughs> <laughs> back then. <laughs> back then. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this conversation is just like. But what was the start on? <laughs> we started out of dating advice, and then we turned it to, like, porn. Shit. Porn. The porn industry. That. Porn industry. Oh, my. My road, I'd be like the worst, like adult film star. Like, I would net my 10 minutes. <laughs> they wouldn't finish the And movie. you, in the second, you said, <laughs> you don't like it. We, we did one scene, and they'd be like, bro, can you please? I was, I'd be sitting there sweating, like, you see, these sweat, like, <sighs> give, me, give me 20 minutes. Can I get some water? Can I get some electrolytes? <laughs> I, I gotta reload. This dude's got like three bottles of Pedialyte on his dresser. <laughs> he's got the he's, he's got the 2k red plus <laughs> and it, down by the like, bottle of yeah, ashwagandha yeah, too yeah, ashwagandha. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to ashwagandha I'm not gonna lie cause I don't like I was selling gauges right my goal is like I used to be like it still am like I'm a skinny boy for life mm-hmm. right I wanted to put more pounds on right cause I'm tired of being skinny especially cause all my brothers are taller than me now and it mm-hmm. kinda sucks so you saw my brother last week you saw yeah, how much taller yeah, he is yeah, than but me he's just good looking and yeah too <laughs> Bro, the mic is gonna be crazy, bro. <laughs> Wait, do we need like a pause counter for each of us? That's a joke, Gage. I think you're cute. It's okay. Oh. For those who are listening, Gage walked off the screen. He's now sulking in sadness. No, that's cool. He said it was. He, so, said, he said I was cute. No, I love Dylan. Dylan's the homie. Yeah, Dylan, now. Dylan, was, Dylan. So, would your last name still be Hamilton, or would it be Sutton? Me? Yeah. Uh, depends. Wait, we need to marry your brother. Oh! Could be Sutton Hamilton. Okay, where are we going? Okay, yeah, okay, okay, let's get back on track. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was, what was he just talking about? We keep forgetting. You're talking about Ashwagandha and how you're talking about Oh, yeah, about I'm going to take a macro route, right? Which is basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. But, and I'm not going to lie about that, it has helped. It's basically, I don't know about the dick size shit because I don't be caring. But it's my shit. <laughs> it's not gonna fuck. Well, we should bleep it out and make them guess what size it is. <laughs> Rate the podcast out of five stars. How you long? <laughs> How stars an inch? <laughs> no bigger than five. No <laughs> We get no reviews. <laughs> we only get one star. <laughs> oh my goodness! But yeah, like so. The whole point of Asha uh, Makar because I'm a doctor. If you didn't know, um, is that it's supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> he said he's a doctor. I'm a doctor. doctor. Miami. So out of all of us, I'm a doctor on a podcast. <laughs> doctor Miami. <laughs> doctor Miami. <laughs> oh, that's uh, the Panuma surgery. That's mm-hmm. what he does. Yeah, I do that. Male, female, newly, <laughs> newly males. 
But like, I, it, basically, you're supposed to lower cortisol, right? I don't. I think that's like the depression or the stress mm-hmm. hormone. Yeah, it's like anxiety and stress. Lower cortisol, increase your libido, so you become like a like a demon, <laughs> like like <laughs> like your boy. <laughs> I like the rock with the great gain, hopefully. <laughs> and then who else? What, 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 who else? What else? Um, yeah, it's supposed to have like a lot of good stuff for you. I actually found it's some. That it's like a like, natural pre workout, mm-hmm. allegedly. And I found one that has like apple cider, ah, apple cider, uh, apple cider vinegar in it. And Wait, hold on, what'd you say? Apple cider. Okay, it has <laughs> like the apple cider. Wait, what'd you say? Hold on. Okay, watch this. Gage, what are some good things that go together? Like LeBron and. Just no, 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 no. It's not a trick. It's not a trick. It's not a trick. I promise you. LeBron and Jordan and just say, come on, just go with it. We could believe it out. I'm not saying it. It's not. No, (laughs) it's literally our our quest to gauge gauge to say the N word has fallen flat. Like salt and (laughs) vid. It keeps mouthing it. No. What were we just talking about? Basically, I was talking about how there's ashwagandha with the apple cider oh, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. in it. Well, and apparently it's supposed to help your digestive health. But you guys kept throwing it off track. I'm not going to lie. It, I don't know if it helped my digestive health because I don't take ashwagandha. But the maca root, the I'm not going to lie, it's, help, what helps it's helped me lift a lot. Like, really? If you want to lift, bro, it's helped me lift a lot. Did you see how much Aaron Donald punches? Did y'all see that video? I don't even want to look. It'll make, nah, me, it'll make me depressed. Oh, hold on. I got to see if I can find it, bro. Because I don't get benched that much. I think I bench like... Aaron Donald's a good looking guy. Um, very good. good That's a win for the light skins. Best football player right now? Yeah. Alive right now? No. Mahomes no. exists. Mahomes exists. Like all time? Tom Brady. Mahomes. You think Mahomes is better than Aaron Donald? Aaron Donald is an interior defensive lineman and still led the league in sacks. Let's talk. Oh, no. Or got like 10 Come or something. On, man. We're no, we're good. We're good. The thing is, I'm just trying to see how much he benches because I saw this and I was just you really surprised. Because we're talking about working out, right? Mute. And Mute. Gage. Your 350. So DK Metcalf's benching 350. So DK Metcalf. So Aaron Donald's benching 500. 500 pounds. Bro, that's like that's seven like, me's. I didn't do math, but that's like seven me's. <laughs> <laughs> that's like 500 pounds of a lot of shit. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Like, that's a quarter ton. That's crazy. Anyway, like, what are y'all's, like, go-to workouts? You guys have, like, a routine, or? No, I just be going in there fucking around. I'm not going to lie I do yeah. uppers and lowers. Hmm. I do a lot of cardio. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't go, like, lift very often. I don't know why. I think I got burnt out from it because of football in high school. We lifted every day, so I was just kind of tired of it, but. I'm the exact opposite. Like, I don't do cardio because, like, I want to put on pounds. Mm. And so to be lifting up. My wife is a lifter, all because I quickly forget out the lifting a female while you guys are engaging in enga- engaging in a love, s- not not love, but engaging in <laughs> si- the, what is it? <laughs> and, no, stop being no. It was the sideways like what is it called? Sideways dancing or sideways hustle? I don't know. Sideways tango. It's a sideways I, tango. Yeah, it's called a sideways tango. I realize I can't lift a female lift right. very quickly in life, so. <laughs> I, my bag is deep. It's not that deep. <laughs> you get a sex swing. We could get one. I like you saying we. It's gonna. Yeah, no. Like we get it in, a, in, in here, like in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> but we should do the whole episode of just us on a, on a sex swing. Yeah. <laughs> one of us is like swinging like yes. back and forth in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I do, uh, I do our wish to start selling <laughs> sex with <laughs> Oh, oh man. I made the joke before that Under Armour should make condoms. Bro, what? Those would be the most rubbery condoms in my life, bro. Honestly, okay, I want to hear y'all's opinion. Do you think Under Armour... I know I will never use a condom. <laughs> That's a joke. We're cutting all this out because I can't have this. I got to believe all the Under Armour. All right, no, so, do y'all, so do y'all like... Hold on, hold on. Pause because I got to... The editing is going to suck ass. Okay. So... Would <laughs> y'all work at Under Armour? But like, is Under Armour y'all's favorite brand of stuff no, to wear? God no, God no. no. So what would you say is like the best? Nike. Really, Nike. Here's what I'm doing. If I'm working out, 
Yeah. It's been certain things I do. I do like Under Armour shorts, though. Under Armour shorts. I like Adidas a lot, man. Adidas set their game up a lot because I used to like, you know, Adidas was cool for soccer cleats and stuff, but then recently they started stepping their game up with clothes and, like, their football cleats are awesome now, too. Like, I'm going to nail it right here. five stars, bro. Mm -hmm. Under Armour shoes, ass. Yeah. That is the worst Mm -hmm. part of Under Armour. You don't get Under Armour shoes. Like, basketball shoes, can't hoop in them. They're so stiff and solid. Like, running shoes are decent, and that's yeah. what I prefer for work, but... And then they just do way too much for, like, shirts and hoodies. Like, they'll do, like, a big-ass logo, and they should just do something subliminal. Yeah. yeah. And then it's thick as hell. But, yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not my favorite. See, I like the Under Armour, like, clothing line, but, like, the actual shoes and stuff, yeah, I, I completely agree. Uh, shoes is... The shoes aren't ugly. Like, there's a couple I want to try. Like, the Steph Curry's are kind of cool. Like, I like Curry's the Curry. Like, uh, and beads kinda... look cool, but, bro, they are so good. <laughs> I thought uh, they were going to play like Kyrie's. Oh, the Kyrie's are really comfortable. Yeah, I, 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 I got a pair of Kyrie's for hooping. I like the, the, what are those called? The Infinities? Yeah. Infinites? Infinites. Those look cool. Those look really cool. But like, yeah, I really, really wear Under Armour that much. I work for my job, so it's chilling. Mm. But now cool. that I've worked there for a year and a half, that's pretty much all I own. Other than like square Y'all stuff. have to wear Under Armour? Yeah. yeah. Or stuff with my logos. Oh. Um, like athletic wear. Weir, wear. Weir. Leisure. I love leisure. Okay. Yeah. Shoes is like the main one though. Cause like you have to wear shoes. They, they honest to God, like if I'm going to get like, I'm probably like when winter time comes, I probably just gonna wear random sweats that have no logo on them. Mm-hmm. That's fair. See at Champs, we had like an actual uniform. We had like a blue shirt and like some cargo shorts. It was horrible. I wish I could wear like just gym shorts and. An Under Armour t-shirt to work every day. You know what's underrated? Mm. Uh, cargo pants. You went to work? No. Uh, I was I'm just saying. saying in general, in cargo general, pants? Cargo pants. Oh, no, no, that's middle school. Cargo. That's middle school. Dirty boy. Is that a Utah thing, bro? <laughs> yeah. That's a Utah <laughs> thing. It has to be. You know what? Uh, also a Utah thing? Saying the... Uh, I almost got him. Wait, what? <laughs> saying the end... Uh, no, no. I almost got him, though. No. No. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, no. Say no. <laughs> bro, I love like the, this beef that like NBA players have with like the city Utah. of you, like the state. I would say I really said the city of Utah. <laughs> it's, it seems like it, bro. It's all Salt Lake. It's actually hilarious. Like if you're a player, like I know all of us like will we'll be NBA players one day, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> which, which like which team would you play for? I know you say your favorite team, but don't ever say the Spurs. Like you want to play for the Spurs. Nobody wants to play for the Spurs. I love Greg Popovich. I think I he not he, he not gonna be there for much longer. Yeah, you gotta I'm make it through training camp. I don't want one be... more season left. So like, you gonna get drafted here in like yeah. two weeks? Yeah. No, I, I'm I, already I'm already like projected to go like top ten. I know this is probably like the most stereotypical pick, but New York Knicks. Yeah. I wouldn't want to live in New York. Well, I wouldn't want to live in New York. I don't know. I mean, I'd have like a little condo because mm-hmm. I'd be making millions of dollars, being like the MVP and defensive player of the year. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'll have something, you know, some slight. In some slight. Okay, okay. What about what about you? It's got to be. I don't know. Like I'm a quiet guy. Like I don't like. I wouldn't live in New York. LA got too many people. I know. I know what I'm picking. I like Dallas. But I'm not living in Dallas, but. Ooh, if Golden State had more black people, I live in Oakland. I was gonna say Golden State for me. I, I think Golden know. State. I mean, <laughs> if you look at it from a basketball standpoint, they've got the best coaching staff, great players. One of the best coaching staffs, great players, and I mean the city is just awesome. San Francisco, baby. So, no, I get the Utah take because we got three black people in Utah. <laughs> That's Donovan Mitchell, half of Rudy Gobert, and that one cheer. Half of Rudy Gobert, <laughs> but the agenda on Rudy Gobert. He said half of Rudy Gobert. <laughs> Rudy Gobert. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy Gobert. Gobert. <laughs> what is it called? The, uh, the oh, I heard somebody calling the the Bonjour Biombo. And I've literally been <laughs> laughing about that ever since they lost us. is so <laughs> Yeah. So, growing up in Utah, bro, how was that? Like, the lack of diversity. Yeah. Right? yeah. Well, actually, we have quite a bit of Hispanic culture, believe it or not. Interesting. Uh, we had two black people in my school. Swag. <laughs> one was one was from Uganda. His name was Billy. I don't think that was his actual name. Mm-hmm. God damn, that's, not his, <laughs> <laughs> that's not his actual. I bet he, he told you his age, and that was not his actual age too. Yes, yes, and then, yes. believe it or not, the one who was actually born in Utah, his name was Cheze. So, Cheze. I was cool with both of them. Uh, Billy didn't speak that much English, but we all we like. You understand like what he's trying to say, like we've been with yeah. each other long. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we were all cool with him, and like we we at least my group of friends knew how like different it definitely can be in Utah, because like. 
when people say it's like that, it's even worse than how people say it is because it is like, like you don't see black people. Yeah. Which is like, <laughs> so it, like, so was it like kind of a culture shock coming to Texas and like see? I guess not just like from a diversity standpoint, but just everything going on around you. Like, is it just a different atmosphere here than from Utah? Yeah, it was a big like. I didn't really have to change much about myself just because. Like, I see everyone as... Like, I don't have black friends. Like, I just have friends. <laughs> yeah. Like, All lives matter. Y- <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. <He's been laughs> Whoa. whoa, whoa. We, we don't get political on this podcast. Either. <laughs> Bro, I love that. Like, but, like, I just, like, see people as people. And, like, when I came to Texas, I mean, obviously, like, it's more diverse than Utah is. But, like, I'm just... As... Me as a person, I'm just trying to be cool. If you're cool with me, I'm cool with you. Just That's bottom line how it was. And... Like my all my roommates were Mexican and they introduced me to all that nine five six culture, so it was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, what do you think of all right, give us your honest opinion. Yeah. Top Tex- five top te- five Mexicans. Really no, no. <laughs> <laughs> te- I was gonna say Texas girls or Utah girls? I mean like my Where's t- it at? listen, my type is Utah girls. And that listen, I know that's like stereotypical blonde. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's stereotypical, like ble like bleach blonde, like want to get married like ASAP and like I'm fine with that too. Right. I'm not getting married. But I'm into one woman. Texas girls got the ass. Like, oh, they got yeah. bunda. They got bunda. Bunda. Everything's bigger in Texas. Dylan that's says not Dylan's, a fucking lie. <laughs> Dylan, my brother says kaboom good dang it was. <laughs> I got mommy milkers in Texas. Bro, that's bro. I love that trend. You're such a baby. Like just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Watching the wiggles on TV. Bro, I like Bro, like I was getting like on this rant like like why do like because I've been in a fiending over getting a tattoo. Like I want a tattoo so bad. And mm-hmm. I know both of you guys got cool tattoos. Like, why do the girls get the same tattoos? <laughs> like, they get the same tattoos. They get the same Bible verse. I don't know how they all get the same verse. <laughs> this whole this like three books. Like how do you get the same fucking verse? <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> Psalms, John three sixteen, Austin three sixteen. Like why you need <laughs> tattoos? Your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna get Austin three sixteen. Dude, your impressions are actually really good. Have you heard his uh, Joker from Dark Knight? No, no, let me see. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? <laughs> that's great that's a great impression I'm not gonna lie cause like, I, I, that, 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 let's not blow this out of proportion oh that's <laughs> sick bro I'm gonna make this water bottle disappear ta da it's, it's, it's gone <laughs> oh he does a better impression than you eggs I don't do a joker yeah no, you do a random ass impression I can impression. do stitch oh I, hal. <laughs> oh hey that's pretty good too I didn't know you did that oh Hannah means family and Family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. Are we still recording? That's but, fucking awesome. But anyway, <laughs> back to tattoos uh, in John th- Austin 316. But I think girls get all the same tattoos because, like, one of them finds something that gets them a lot of attention and then pff, takes off from there. Yeah, and I think, like, the equivalent for that with guys would have to be, like, the weird, like... You know, the, the tribal, s- yeah, the tribal tattoos that are low key, <laughs> a little bit <laughs> low key racist, but hey, uh, I mean, who, who, I don't, I don't got the tattoos, so don't bother me. <laughs> it's not our problem. <laughs> Jesus. But ink therapy is a real fucking like. If you get one, you're gonna want another Same, one, dude. And it seems crazy, but mm-hmm. while, like once you're done and you spent the money, you're like, damn, I really changed something about me, like forever. Like, so, and, so help me decide a tattoo, right? right? I was thinking, right? Obviously. Me and Gage are going to be movie stars one day, right? So we can't get arm tattoos, right? Okay. Not yet, at least. Like, not until we get the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if it sponsors out there, if you want us to give us the bag so I can finally get arm tattoos, I can shut them out. Like but, a porn movie? No. Mm-hmm. You're trying to make money on, po- on podcasts, bro. <laughs> porn is later. Come on. <laughs> but, like, I don't want arm tattoos, right? Yeah. Even though I, I want them, I can't get them. Yeah, yeah. same here. So I'm leaning leg tattoos, the skinny on leg tattoos. No, 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 I'm talking. Yeah, of course, like on your thigh, or like on your shin, mm-hmm. or side, like your calf. Mm-hmm. I'm getting skinny one. Mm-hmm. Which tattoo are you gonna get? I'm getting a yeah, cowboy bebop tattoo. On That's a way. lame ass anime. Like I know you want like cowboy bebop, but I just dislike cowboy. Okay, bebop. we're waiting until Travis gets on. Travis, Travis has the worst taste in. I know we talk about Travis and women, ladies, 
girls. <laughs> <laughs> We're hyping on Travis. He has legit the worst taste in everything. All right, but like, how would we want so mid? You're mid. Facts. <laughs> no, what, okay, no, okay <laughs> what's what's your tattoo idea? I want to get like I like One Piece a lot. I love One Piece. Hey. I'm a part of the church at One Piece that anytime I figure out that like someone likes One Piece, mm-hmm. like, I'm like. I'm and not one piece like anime. Have <laughs> 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 you watched One Piece yet? Like I did that to X for like a solid year when we first met and now he's watching it and now he's a he's a priest himself. And now we're we're going across the state just touching touching people with our one piece fando. With our one piece fando. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're touching them with. But <laughs> but like it's this thing called like it's a West Indian thing, right? Because there's a prophecy about this thing called like Joy Boy. It's like a person that would make people laugh during like campfires and stuff in West Indian culture, and I was gonna get like this silhouette like on my leg right here. Yeah. So I was thinking about getting that. That's dope. I was gonna get a, a, a money tree with like a money tree and then like a slave sitting underneath it, right? And the slave was like in the background. You could see it's extreme. I know. You, I know. I know. But guess what? I'm black. <laughs> bro imagine a white guy getting this slave tattoo like I was just thinking about that like, that I was just nodding and I was like yeah, yeah no that but it was gonna be that and it was gonna be like sort of like Django-esque oh that would be really cool Django. I, Django yeah badass movie bro I well actually is that is that what it's inspired from or like no no it was gonna be a combination of like Kendrick Lamar song Money Trees cause that's a great ass yeah song. it is a great song but does, does he have a better better verse than J-Rock no agreed <laughs> uh Actually, it's a good segue because my next tattoo, I want the ACDC lightning bolt. And then I also want something from uh, Reservoir Dogs. I've never seen that movie. I mean, Bro, I want to see it. I want y'all to watch that fucking movie tonight. I swear to God. It's, my, it's, it's not my favorite Tarantino movie, but it is like so under the radar. All right, let's keep going with this trend. Rank top three Tarantino movies. Top three Tarantino movies. Um, number one, Inglorious Bastards. Number two, um, I just said it. Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs, and then number three, Django. That's not a bad choice. None of those are in my top three. But really? No, no, Django, no. Is, Django is Django's three. The other two aren't. You go first. Uh, Kill Bill 1. Kill Bill 1? That's, what that's about like, two? that's set, like, a, that was a vibe. Yeah, that Kill Bill was a vibe was for like 20 years. Like, I was, yeah, that was a vibe. The second one stinks. Yeah. Second one stinks. What about that? Uh, I, had a, I had a hot take. Second one should have been split into two movies. This should, this should have been a trilogy, not, mm-hmm. a, not a sequel. Kill Bill 1, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I love that movie. I do too. That's, that's my number three. Once Upon a Time, and then Django. I don't like I don't like Pulp Fiction. I think, I See, think it's I have Pulp Fiction number one. I mean, like, I get it. It was like a huge momentum movie. It's just like, once you watch it once, or like twice or three times... Every time after that, it's just like, I mean, it's a great fucking movie because it's it's obviously full fiction, but it's just not like, I don't know, like it's it's four for me, and I respect the hell out of it if you put it in your top three or one, two, three, but I just get tired of it. Yeah, we talked about Tarantino last week with Dylan too. I know some of the movies that came up too. We were talking about Christopher Nolan movies quite a bit too. Yeah, I love Tenet. Tenet was really good. Yeah. I don't, have you seen Tenet? It was a mind fuck. I watched it on a plane. Worse than Inception, though, because after those... No, Inception, Inception's better. Inception's better. You think so? Inception's better. I love Tenet. I, t- t- I like t- Tenet more. Inception's better. And, and Inception, I'm studying like crazy. Jesus Christ. Inception might be one of the most underrated movies ever. Agreed. Ever. They trashed it when it first came out. That's a legit... Like, it might be top 50 all the time. Yeah. I think the mind fucking Tenet is better, though. Because, like, at least Inception walks you through what's going on. Like, we're going deeper and deeper into the into the dreams. You don't really know what's going on in Tenet until, like... Until they show the, ch- the charm on his backpack mm-hmm. at the end of the movie. Yeah. No, nah, you, you knew what was happening. You didn't know that was him, but, like... Spoiler alert. But, like... <laughs> yeah, and if you haven't watched it, it's been out for, like, months But what now. the fuck are you doing? Don't fucking watch it. What's your problem? No, fucking don't. nerds. <laughs> fucking nerds. Okay, uh... <laughs> it went off the rails. I didn't even say shit. I just... <laughs> <laughs> but like that was the shit. only movie that yeah. came out during COVID. I know, what we, were you doing? We, we can't be like <laughs> destroying our fans every week. Every we love week, you, but fuck. Say, get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> every week we say get out of here. We want people to get in. <laughs> yeah, keep pause. tell your friends. I said pause. Jesus Christ. Pause. But that was a pause. <laughs> tell your friends. 
But Tenet slaps. The my fucking Tenet, I don't know if it's greater. I think it was more, he could have done it better. He could have made a little less. Uh, not confusing, but like. That movie's so good. It's a great movie. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. I was just thinking. You know what I'm excited for this weekend? It's Black Widow. That movie's gonna stink. I think it's gonna be. <laughs> you're excited over Black Widow. That's like people excited over Morbius. I'm not ex- Listen, I'm I'm not excited per se for Black Widow. I'm just excited that the MCU is coming off another movie because I love the MCU. Oh, I know, dude. The thing is, I'm just ready for the new Spider-Man movie. We talked about Tom Holland and Zendaya, but did you see that? Tom Holland. We didn't even get our shit off on that. Like that made me sick to my stomach. <laughs> like I was so upset. Like, you don't like Tom Holland? No, I like Tom Holland, but he a baby. Like. He's like 25. I would have loved John David Washington. John David Washington. <laughs> I, like, I like them. I know they're, there's a fictional couple, but I like them way, way better. John David John Washington, David Washington and Tom Holland? No. <laughs> <laughs> John David Washington and Zendaya. Oh. Because they did that movie. It wasn't that bad. X, what was the name of the movie? Malcolm Marie. Malcolm Marie. Oh, was it that black and white movie? Yeah. Or what? Was it black and white? Was was it? Trailer I don't know. Was? I, I don't yeah, know it was the first The trailer was, was black and white. No, no, the movie's black and white. It's the first film uh, watched with COVID. I don't know. I like art, like rom coms. It's not a rom com at fucking all, hmm. but like Fifty First Dates. Yeah, I love that movie. Ghost of Girlfriends Past with what's his name? Now we're on your nose, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, mm-hmm. great ass movie. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. So, actually, I have a cool question. I think we're also running out of time, so this will this will kind of like get ready to close out the show. If you could have anybody be a professor here at Texas State University. Who would you want it to be? Alexis Texas. This guy <laughs> is on to something. Am I wrong? Bro, former <laughs> alumni. What class do you teach? Videography. Videography. Bro, am I wrong? <laughs> this guy's a like, genius. <laughs> I don't, listen, I'm not like a uh, mass comm major. Yeah. I'm an ESS. I mean, she, shit, she could tell me something about ESS. Bro. Like, ways of the body. With Alexis Texas, bro? Ways of the body with Alexis Texas. That's a, that's a spy name of the class. Yeah, I know, dude. Or like stretching and she's up in there in the front and she's just like I'm like <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nah, that was that's a great choice. I'm, what about you? Uh, I'm trying to think of someone like who've lived here or went here at some point. Oh, I'm not thinking of that. No. You go first though, because I, I gotta think of it. Ah, uh, that's tough, man. I don't know. I think uh I think Matthew McConaughey and, and at he teaches UT. At UT. I know he teaches at UT. I'm trying to think of like another actor or someone, but not a lot of famous people went to Texas State, is what I'm noticing. Like they're like two or three. Maybe like uh, maybe George Strait. Like George Strait, yeah. But I don't, he didn't go to Texas State, right? No, his yeah, daughter, his daughter did. No, George Strait did. You went here too. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did. Yeah, he definitely he did. did. I would pick um. Lyndon B. John or uh, yeah, Johnson, right? Yeah, Johnson. OBJ. Yeah. I'd pick a uh, Ryan Leaf. I know he didn't go here, but that, I want to hear it. Like, I just want him to teach about scamming. He literally, like, <laughs> scammed, <laughs> he scammed the, N- the NFL for, like, what is it? Like, millies. Yeah. Like, at least 20 millies, and he was on drugs the whole time. I got to hear how you pulled that shit off. <laughs> Johnny Menzel teaching that class would be pretty oh, good, Oh, dude, too. Johnny Menzel. And now I'm Johnny, Men- Johnny and Menzel. now Johnny Menzel's pissed because, I mean, they just legalized it to where student-athletes can make money off of their likenesses. He would have made, made bank in college. So he so would, much money. Him, he, Tebow. Him and Tebow. Tebow made so RG3. So many ChristianMingle.com's commercial with Tebow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did, was he already married, like, in college, too? Probably. Probably. He was married to the Lord in college. Yeah. The Lord. He's married to chastity. <laughs> 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 fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny Manziel was a complete fucking opposite. Yeah. Manziel would have got a, a fire contract. Who else? Uh, like other sports, Zion, 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 Zion did get money. Facts. Well, a hundred percent. I mean, Duh. I think everyone got money, but now but it's not as Ben Simmons much. got money. Yeah. Ben Simmons got money. Aiden got money from Arizona. I'm sure. Hundred percent. But the, the coach got fired, right? A couple years ago. Uh, Arizona. Yeah. 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 What else? Yeah, honestly, I think Michael Sam would have got money. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I think a lot of the former like Heisman winners are probably would like every Heisman winner. I'm, yeah, I'm sure all the Heisman winners, all those guys who were Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush was crazy, and that's they ended up like taking his name out of the record books yeah. because he was just, like he took uh, he took the sponsorship. Yeah, exactly. So now he's asking like, hey, y'all should bring it back. Bring it back because they're not going to. Heisman they're not going to. Well, he won the Heisman. I mean, I don't know that that might be a debate for another day because I think Reggie Bush should be in the. I don't think he should have won the Heisman day. I think Vince Young 
should have won the Heisman that year. Well, I mean, what's done is done in that sense. But oh, I'm yeah, saying, yeah. like, they should reinstate his records because now that they're, like, making it okay, I don't know. This kind of goes with, like, steroids in baseball, too, because some people make the argument, well, I mean, you know, like... Like, my thing was... Yeah. The, well, uh, I'll wrap it up quickly, but, like, Barry Bonds should be in the Hall of Fame. He's like, the great... I don't even watch baseball. He's the greatest baseball player who, who's ever lived. Yeah, yeah, I mean, steroids or not, he would have still hit a shit ton of home runs. He still would have... Bro, like... And everyone was doing it. The thing is, like, there's no way to tell, like... There's no way to tell, like, there there might be hundreds of guys they've already inducted who were definitely on steroids. Right. They, and they, there's yeah. no way to tell, I other than, like, looking at them physically. Yeah. Barry Bonds, you could tell he was doing it because mm-hmm. he, the guy was fucking jacked. Sammy Sosa went from black to white. Facts. Mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, yeah. it, was, it wasn't even Michael Jackson vitiligo style. Like, this, he did it. Like, he went yeah. from chocolate ice cream to strawberry to straight vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Like, and that's what, like, I'm not the biggest baseball. I know you're more of a big baseball guy than me and Gage, but, like, I just always hated, like, Baseball's, like, Hall of Fame is so trash. Like, just decide. Either they get in the Hall of Fame. I don't get the debate of, like, he was a Hall of Famer before the steroids. Cool. So why did you take him? Yeah. Like, I just don't get the debate. Like, you, like if you got the cojones, if you're the Baseball Hall of Fame, tough luck. That's what you got to tell them. Like, mm-hmm. we took it. Like, I just don't understand. Either you let everybody in who took steroids or you don't let any at all. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's that simple. Like Baseball just, is so old school like that. Like, they will... Because Pete Rose, he has the most hits of all time, and he did a lot of, like, gambling. And oh, shit. yeah, and they won't let him in. They won't he let him be in. in. He should be he in. He should be in. All, can't, all he did was gamble. Exactly. You I mean, literally can't tell the history did. of baseball without letting in. Like, you're leaving out in the Baseball Hall of Fame. You're letting out the top hitter of all time and the top home run hitter of all time. Mm-hmm. And RBIs. I think Barry Bonds leads in RBI, which is yeah. fucking insane. Yeah. Like, but, I, I don't know. Like, that was just my garbage. You can't think of any other baseball. sport that does that. I don't think. Like I love the NFL, like... <laughs> Uh, what's it called? T-O, Hall of Fame. T-O. Like it's T-O, maybe NFL. I like the NBA Hall of Fame. Like I just like the whole idea. Of just let everybody in. Basketball. <laughs> just let everybody in. Like I'd rather anybody like <laughs> let's celebrate these guys. You know, it's the na- I like how it's, they clarify it's the national. It's a uh, the basketball Hall of Fame, not yeah. the national. The NBA Hall of Fame. Yeah, Because yeah. a lot of guys that you wouldn't think like, Pablo Sol is not a Hall of Famer. But he is in European basketball. Yeah. So, so it's the not, National Basketball so Yeah, exactly. So the National uh, Basketball Hall of Fame. Or like it's not the, the Spurs. National it's, 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 it's basketball. I mean, basketball. you think about the Spurs too, like Tony Parker? I mean, he's not a Hall of Famer in like the NBA. The NBA, but he's a Hall of Famer in basketball as a whole because he did so much for Ginobili. France. Ginobili too, all for Argentina. Them, yeah. yeah, all three of the guys from the Spurs. And Pop. But. Yeah. But, man, we talked a lot about sports. I feel like we, ju- <laughs> we probably... I like so many women episode. away from listening to us. Nah, they, they like us because we're, hey, three of the most good-looking guys on campus. You know the vibes. Quit playing with us. Three and a half with X because we don't know what race he is. But... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's doing it too. But, yeah. I, I appreciate you coming, my boy. Thanks for the yes, invite, sir. guys. I hope I hop on soon. And then, you know, if any more ladies do start listening, hopefully they, you know, ask for... You know, we like no one on that episode. We're bring like- him back. Bring him back. <laughs> Let me know if you want me back. <laughs> it's not like I got shit to do or people to do. You're coming, hey, you're, you're coming back when we talk about NFL because I gotta get. I have a hot take that I gotta get off at you about so Najee. Okay. How about Najee, I gotta give it to you. Get pissed already. Right. <laughs> well, thanks for joining the show, Nolan. Really appreciate it. And uh, you guys were listening to How Are We Recording. Thanks for episode. listening. We will catch y'all next week on the next episode. Peace out. Yeah.